रोलिंग कैमरा एक्शन हेलो आई एम धनंजय गदरे आई टीच एट दी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग डिवीजन एट द नेताजी सुभाष यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हियर इन न्यू दिल्ली वेलकम टू दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो फॉर द अपकमिंग ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम्बेड सिस्टम डिजाइन नाउ वुड यू बी सरप्राइज्ड इफ आई टोल्ड यू दैट एन एवरेज इंडियन होम स्पेशली अ मिडिल क्लास होम हैज प्रोबेबली मोर देन 10 computers well i don't mean the conventional desktop or laptop computers at all you know the computers i am referring to are tiny integrated circuits embedded deep inside gadgets that surround us these gadgets and products owe their functionality and performance to such dedicated computers since these computers are embedded deep inside these gadgets and devices they are called embedded computer systems or in short embedded systems in fact there is no aspect of human life that is untouched by these systems we have home appliances such as a microwave oven a washing machine health diagnostic systems like blood sugar or blood pressure analyzers electronic interactive toys and in the case of automobiles they have several such embedded computers I would like to show you three devices which may surprise you that these are examples of embedded systems an RFID card such as the one we use for Delhi metro this fancy Gillette fusion power razor and the noise cancelling headphone that you saw me using at the beginning of this video the reason i could not hear my camera person is because such a noise cancelling headphone cancels out external noise and to achieve that they use a powerful embedded processor in this case an embedded digital signal processor and therefore makes a great example of an embedded system now since embedded systems are so ubiquitous it becomes imperative to learn more about them what are the elements of an embedded system how do they work and how to design them learning about embedded systems will give you the skills and expertise to design manufacture and manage millions and billions of these products of the future and these skills and expertise would make you eminently employable now if you are going to join this course a natural question that would arise in your mind is what will you learn by attending this course what are the course objectives well you will learn about the elements of embedded systems using a building block approach that we have evolved these cover input devices sensors output devices communication protocols storage devices power supply and of course the embedded computer you will learn various ways of implementing the embedded computer block one popular method to implement the embedded computer is to use a microcontroller microcontrollers are complete computers on a single chip these microcontrollers have great diversity in terms of size and in terms of performance and give you, we will give you some idea about that we are going to use texas instruments msp430 microcontroller we will cover the architecture programming and interfacing we will also teach you embedded c programming and how to write debug and download the compiled program into the memory of the micro you will also learn about aspects of complete system design including testing debugging and at the end of this course you can expect to be able to design simple embedded systems from scratch to finish this online course is probably very unique as it has a hands on approach and has significant hardware component we are excited to share with you that texas instruments which is partnering with us for this course are providing msp430 microcontroller kit to all the selected participants this kit was designed at my lab at nsut and is called msp430 lunchbox i will be joined by dr badri subuddhi who is a faculty at iit jammu in delivering this online course 
We also have the support of a large number of my students, current as well as former, who are working in various aspects of embedded systems and their help and hard work makes this course very much possible. This course is open to all. We expect you to know how basic electronic components and circuits work, elements of digital electronics and circuits and systems and in some experience in C programming. And it would be nice if you have some background about a computer architecture. We are excited to offer this course and we hope that after watching this video, you would be equally interested to join us here to learn more about embedded systems. We look forward to having you here. Thank you.